Hey guys. In this video, we are going to test the best mountain bike tires you can buy right now. I made this checklist based on my personal opinions and study time, and I've listed them based on the security and pricing features I've included for options for each type of consumer. So you can easily verify this best mountain bike tires for yourself or your family. We always try to provide customers with informative ideas so that they can easily verify any product. If you would like more information and would like to set an updated price on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Our first choice the Maxxis Minion DHF is our top recommendation for a burly and aggressive front end. This beefy tire inspires high levels of confidence and is most at home when leaned into a turn aggressively with a substantial row of large side knobs that grip through corners. The feel of this tire may take a little getting used to for some, but we guarantee once you experience the sensation of it locking into a turn, you'll have a hard time going back to anything else. Its sturdy EXO casing and mix of tread compounds provide, pounds provide ample side wall support and exceptional grip, even at lower pressures. A relatively square profile, squared off edges, side knobs, and side walls all contribute to the overall quality of this award winner. The DHF has also proven to be a long-lasting and reliable companion and is one of the most popular mountain tires ever for good reason. We love the DHF up front, but it's also suitable for use as a rear tire. As a rear tire, it has excellent pedal and braking traction but has a relatively high level of rolling resistance. The aggressive tread of the Minion DHF might feel a bit overkill on super buff and hard packed dirt, but that's not the arena this beast was designed to fight in. The DHF is offered in all wheel sizes and a huge variety of widths, casings, and rubber compounds to meet a broad range of user preferences. At number 2 the Vittoria Mozza is an excellent, aggressive tire that rivals the performance of the most popular models on the market. Vittoria may not have the same level of brand recognition as some other manufacturers feel that it is liable to change if they keep making amazing tires like this. We love the Mozza as a front tire where it excels in the corners with a stout row of well-supported side knobs that grip well in a huge range of conditions. The transition from the center tread to the side knobs is smooth, and once on edge, it bites and holds with confident inspiring and predictable manners. Braking traction is another highlight, and the large knobs with open spacing grab well on most surfaces when it comes time to slow things down. Lots of lengthwise siping on all of the knobs allow them to really conform to the trail surface, and it holds well on firm surfaces, off-camber terrain, and rock slabs. The trail casing we tested was a good blend of supportive and supple, and Victoria's 4C graphene rubber was surprisingly resilient with an above-average tread life. Due to the Mozza's tread design, it has a bit more rolling resistance than tires with a less aggressive tread. We also found it to be a touch heavy when compared to similarly aggressive tires in the same size. Beyond those concerns, we feel the Mozza is an outstanding tire that rivals the best tie something different. At number 3 the Maxxis Dissector is an excellent rear tire with a versatile tread pattern that works in a large range of conditions and has a broad range of appeal. Like most Maxxis tires, it has excellent cornering abilities with a substantial row of side knobs that bite and hold confidently and predictably when tipped on edge. The moderate height center tread provides good pedaling traction in everything from firm to medium loose conditions and is surprisingly fast rolling. We tested the EXO casing, which we found to provide a nice blend of support and suppleness for everyday trail riding. Our test tire weighed in at just 906 grams, impressively light for its size. It's also offered in the beefier EXO Plus and DH casings for added peace of mind. We felt this tire had the best balance of rolling resistance, grip, and traction offered in the entire test, a true all-around performer. There are more aggressive rear tires on the market, and if you ride in especially loose or wet conditions primarily, there may be better options for you. The Dissector's mid conditions primarily, there may be better options for you. The Dissector's medium height tread does well in most situations, but there are better choices for braking traction when it gets super loose. We also felt that its durability was a little questionable as the shoulder knobs seemed to wear a bit faster than we would have liked. That said, we feel this is an excellent, versatile rear tire that is a great option for a lot of riders, terrain, and conditions. At number 4 the Maxxis Minion DHR2 is an aggressive rear tire with terrific cornering grip and excellent braking traction. Aggressive riders who frequent loose, chunky, and rowdy terrain are the best candidates for this beefy and durable tire. It sacrifices some rolling speed in exchange for boatloads of braking traction and cornering prowess. This tire has a large and stout row of side knobs, like those found on the Minion DHF, to dive into corners and hold a line on off-camber sections. 
Breaking Bite is superb thanks to the wide paddle-shaped knobs at the center tread. Many bike brands spec the DHR2 as a front and rear tire on complete builds. The Minion DHR2 was originally designed for use as a rear tire, and paired with a Minion DHF up front, we think it's the ultimate combo in loose conditions for aggressive trail riders. Other rear tire options will roll noticeably faster than the DHR2, but that's a trade-off you'll need to consider for a tire with the cornering grip and braking traction it provides. At number 5 the Michelin Wild Enduro Front 2.4 is a brawler of a front tire that offers high-end performance at a reasonable price. This is an aggressive tire designed for enduro riding that offers excellent cornering ability with a stiff and responsive casing that can stand up to serious abuse. The tall and aggressive lugs provide bite in nearly any condition, and testers feel it is on par with the best tires on the market. The tire is tough, durable, and can hold up to blistering speeds through sketchy terrain, all of this at an attractive price point and reasonable weight. The wild enduro front isn't perfurdy and will be challenging to cut, it doesn't quite have the supple and soft feel of some of the other options available. Still, for the rider who wants to be able to ride hard in a range of conditions, we feel this is a fantastic option. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a nice day.